coach, if you can give an opening statement about how fall camp has been um, and how the team is looking so far. Yeah, we wrapped up fall camp about a, 10 days ago and, and uh, really uh, felt good. Uh, but work we put in got, got started a little earlier than we normally have with playing a week zero game, which is the first time uh, I think everybody on our staff and, and team has uh, practiced in July. So that was uh, definitely a, a change, and uh, we sure picked a, a nice, cool summer uh, to, to do that in. But it was, uh, you know, a hot camp. But uh, guys did a good job taking care of their bodies. Coaches did a good job. Strength staff, support staff, training staff, and, and uh, kept us really healthy uh, throughout camp. Uh, minimal injuries, which is, uh, you know, you hold your breath, ever practice, ever tackle as a head coach, uh, going through going through camp, just one. Uh, Want to, want to get the horses to the gate uh, of, of week one. And so I think we've been able to do that. And, and, and so uh, now here we are, game week. It took all year, but game week finally got here and excited to uh, turn our attention towards, you know, Jacksonville State and, and uh, hit somebody, play somebody, block somebody that's not, uh, not a teammate. And uh, guys are looking forward to that. We've had a good, good uh, week of, rep, of work so far. And uh, everything will be an interesting game, obviously on national TV. Uh, a big game for us, you know, playing up a little bit. You know, those guys have moved up to FBS, and so they've got a few more scholarships than we do. They're at 85, and, and we're at 63. So that's, uh, you know, one of those you swing for the fence and, and see what happens. Uh, but we're, we're kind of going into it a little bit blind uh, with, with the new staff uh, at Jacksonville State. Coach Rich Rodriguez, who's well-known uh, and respected throughout our uh, profession, took over there this uh, this past year. And so he's got a new staff uh, put together and, and a new team, a lot of new players there and and so uh, they were a very uh, very good opponent last year and they got the best of us out there uh, in Alabama so uh, you know we know uh, we're gonna have our hands full Saturday but looking forward to it national TV what a great opportunity to, to showcase our program our university uh, th this great town of Nacogdoches and, and East Texas region so we're, we're excited and hopefully uh, we put our best foot forward uh, Saturday about 2 30 and, and and represent everyone well and uh, hopefully find a way to come out with a victory Return of a veteran team, um, Trey Self, Xavier Gibson, uh, B.J. Thompson, so on and so forth. How has the mindset been with the upperclassmen going into this Week Zero game? You know, it's it's uh, nice that we can finally say that that we are a veteran ball club. Uh, wasn't you know that long ago we were talking about playing 35 freshmen against Matt Rule and the Baylor Bears uh, back in 2019. So uh, it is it is nice as as a coach, as a staff, uh, as a program to to be able to lean on some seniors. Uh, we've got a bunch of them and, and some not only just older guys but guys with a lot of experience, a lot of snaps and have played in some big, big ball games. You look back at our 2020 year uh, playing those five money games and FBS opponents, those that's going to pay dividends for us again this fall uh, playing in those, those big games and those environments and in the success we've had over the last couple of years we've built this program. The guys know what to expect. They know what's at stake. Uh, their playoff team, you know, from last year and, and uh, know that to do that again every week's important so uh, you know really good teams are, are led by coaches great teams are led by players and we've got a lot more you know player-led leadership going on in this program now so that's in, encouraging and exciting uh, as we as we look to, to this season and beyond but uh, they've had a great fall camp offensively they've been clicking uh, pretty good uh, with a, a four-year starter quarterback Trey Self and, and uh, he's he's picked up uh, right up where he left off, and, and Xavier Gibson, he, he was not with us in the spring. He had uh, minor surgery, and so uh, he missed most of spring ball. So it's been really good uh, to have him back out there and, and playing. Uh, offensive line has done a, done a terrific job. We've got a lot of snaps uh, under those guys, a lot of starts uh, in, that, in that core group together. So uh, really, really pleased offensively uh, where we're at. Defensively, there was some change in turnover there and, and uh, a few more holes to fill in terms terms of the roster, uh, but Coach Coffin and his staff have done a really good job uh, throughout spring, the summer, and, and getting them ready in this fall camp and have some, some really dynamic players there as well. I think our secondary will rank up there with just about anybody in the country. Brevin Randall, you know, leads the defense. He's our, our middle linebacker all-conference, you know, should should be a candidate for uh, conference player of the year if, if uh, things go as planned uh, defensively. And then up front, we're, I think, going to be really strong, have some terrific 
players up there, B.J. Thompson, you mentioned Ahmad Murray, and some guys who really get after the passer. So uh, that's been exciting. And then, uh, you know, special teams, the punch you never see coming, returning, you know, I, I guess preseason accolades had all five of them, you know, punter, kicker, deep snapper, uh, returner, player of the year, all of it. And so uh, that, that's going to be something that I think hopefully our depth and our experience allows us to gain an edge in, in, in some of these games, early games throughout the season. Uh, it's, it's just being really sound and in, in, uh, in our special teams unit. You mentioned Coach Rodriguez earlier. What are some type of attributes of a, a team that's coached by him? What will you see on Saturday? You know, a well-coached team. Uh, you can look back all through his years, and he's won a bunch of ball games at some really, you know, big, big places and some small schools. I mean, he's, he's he cut his teeth in small college football as well, and was very successful there and, and climbed the ladder. But you know, his teams are always very well coached, uh, well disciplined. You know, usually an up-tempo uh, team. You know, we're you know expecting that offensively uh, out, of, out of them to be you know a, a fast-paced team. So it should be uh, an exciting game for TV and and a lot of possession. And, and and everything else. So uh, we know uh, we'll get we'll get a well coached team. And, and looking at who they've recruited, who they returned from their roster last year, it's going to be a very very talented bunch. And uh, we'll we'll have to play well to have a chance uh, Saturday at two thirty. So we had several responses on social media, but we're going to share one. Uh, this is from username Storm underscore Ruiz. It's kind of a funny question for you. Um, some people say the long snapper is like the glue that holds the team together. Why? Well, because he makes the kicker look good. The kickers usually aren't very good, but the deep snapper, if he does a good job, he can make any kicker look good. In fact, that, that reminds me, uh, back in 2019, uh, we weren't a real good team, but we had one all-conference player, and it was our kicker. And, and I think the only reason that he was an all-conference player is because of our deep snapper that year, uh, who's Chase Ruiz. And so uh, that's my answer to Storm Ruiz, who uh, funny by chance may have the same name as our all-conference kicker from 2019. Thank you for your time, Coach. We appreciate thank, thank it. Thank you, Storm, for that great question. So that's it. Axum Jacks, baby. Let's have a good one.